going on guys? Right now John and I are driving to the Burbank airport to pick up my little brother. My mom sent him out here to visit. He came out by himself for his spring break and he's an unaccompanied minor so I guess I have to do something weird and like go in with my ID to pick him up. But it should be fun. He's overlapping the time that my dad's out here a little bit and he'll be staying here for 10 days. My dad leaves in just a few more days here. Sweet, so we're here at the airport. My mom was nice enough to have Andre fly into Burbank, so this way we don't have to go all the way to LAX multiple times in like the past couple weeks because we have to pick up my dad. We had to pick my dad up at LAX and, and we have to drive him to LAX in a couple days. So we've been pretty busy lately. But doesn't it kind of feel like time is going by slower? No. To you? No, it doesn't? I'm older than you are. <laughs> well, it, to me it feels like it's going by a little slower because we've been doing something like every single day. We haven't stayed at home really Delta, right? at all ever. And I actually did read Delta. an article once that what? Delta? Uh, probably. I actually did read an article once that time is supposed to feel like it goes by slower if you do more. If you're like constantly doing something new, it makes life feel longer. That article is just supposed to make your life feel slower. Uh, no. Ready, Iris? We're at the airport, baby girl. We're at the airport picking up your uncle. We'll still do a couple fun things with Andre, but at least he's not gonna like want to do something every single day. My dad hadn't been out here in forever. It was a big deal for my dad to come to California. So we wanted to do something touristy like almost every day that we could. But Andre is fine with <laughs> playing video games. But we're gonna try to get him to play less video games. My mom asked me to do that. My mom asked me to limit Andre's Wi-Fi. Oh. So I'm like waiting at the ticket counter in line to ask where I need to go to pick up Andre. And Andre texts me like, okay, I'm just waiting at the Delta ticket counter. And I'm like, what? That can't be right, because I'm at the Delta ticket counter. And I turned around and he was just sitting on the bench behind me on his phone the whole time. <laughs> Welcome to California. Yeah. Little brother. It's nice to be here. Yeah? You excited? Yeah. To spend your spring break out here? Mm-hmm. I just wish that I hadn't come when Minnesota was warm. This is what, this what my dad was saying too. I was about to say <laughs> My dad said the exact same thing. Oh, did you see it? He said that in a vlog? Yeah, and I just expected it. That's what most <laughs> Minnesotans would say. <laughs> cool, well my little brother is all picked up. I don't know what we're going to do today. It sounds like my dad kind of wanted to relax today too after going around so many places lately. I slept in and it was amazing. I gave my dad Iris in the morning and I'm like, oh, I need to recover a little bit after going out two nights before. I needed a good, like to sleep a couple extra hours. So I did that. And then I just like ran out of the house to pick up Andre. Cool. That sounds like you. Spring break! Yeah. Let's break the spring. You excited to spend time with baby Iris? I am. She's a cutie. <laughs> cool, we're back at home. Iris is asleep, so I gotta be kind of quiet. My dad's talking to the neighbor next door. He just loves to talk to everyone. So Andre's been out to California before, but it's the first time in this house. So welcome, first time here, huh? Sorry, it's kind of messy. I haven't, I haven't had time to clean everything. My house is worse, don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, so for the first couple of days, Andre's gonna be sleeping just on the couch in here. I love the couch. Cool. But then, um, when my dad goes back to Minnesota, we'll give Andre the guest room. The dogs are greeting Andre. Kenobi sure looks happy to see you. She like, looks happy to see my colt, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, here comes Simon to say hi. And then here comes... What? What's this? That is a present. For Iris or for me? Well, it says Nikki, but I'm pretty sure it's Oh, well, did mom get it? Or yeah, you I'm not it? sure, but um, you, I think you would like that, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not your taste. 
Okay. But you know what is your taste? Why did you bring presents for us? Because. Oh. Well, I kind of stole a couple, Ooh. but no one. Milk chocolate white chocolate truffles. Yum. Yeah, lint is delicious. All right, then. I'm going to open up this present here. So Andre's going to film while I open this. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. It's a little giraffe. See its tail? Oh, and it's making music. Oh, that's how you make it make music. It started when I pressed his stomach. Door, nothing's here. Nothing's for you. This is like a mail vlog. He comes and he thinks presents are for him. That is so cute. Oh, did you buy this or did Mom for Iris? Let's say that I bought it, but... Is it from both of you guys? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Okay, cool. You know, we're going to see giraffes not tomorrow, but the day after. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to... A friend of a friend has a ranch out here that's also a winery. My dad wants to go to the winery and is excited about that, but they have, like, a safari type thing. This guy owns um, some exotic animals. I'm not sure, but I think he rescued them. And so he has giraffes, zebras, and camels, and all sorts of cool stuff. Would you like to do that kind of stuff a, for a the bottle Oh, I left at yeah. mom's and the camera charger. Thank you so much for bringing this because I kept forgetting to text mom and tell her to bring it. And I meant to, and John's like, text her, make sure that they bring it out. So he would have been really mad at me because I never texted you guys and asked you to bring it. He would have been so mad if, <laughs> if he found out that I didn't. Yeah, see, that was all my idea. Ooh, and a little notebook with some pen, with some paper and a cool pen. That's really cute. I like that. I get all these, like, notebooks that are so pretty, I don't ever want to write in them. I Well, I just have one other. And a kitty mint case. Whoop. A kitty mint case. Cool. Cat desk pen, but it's not in there. Mm -hmm. Right here. Cool, cool. Oh, it's his butt. That is so cute. I love that pen, and this is another pen as well, right? I know. Oh, sure. a bottle stopper. So, oh, for a wine bottle. What happens tonight goes on Facebook tomorrow. It's a very <laughs> nice looking pen you got there. Cool. I love this stuff. That's everything that was in there. Thank you, Mom. And, and Andre. Andre. <laughs> Iris is going to love this. She loves stuff that makes music. Cute. Thank you. Iris woke up and Andre's showing her her new giraffe. She looks enchanted by you, Andre. She was just looking up at you. Yeah. And technically, this is above her, so looking up would be at this. You like their toy, Iris? You like that giraffe? It's cute, huh? You like it? No. <laughs> Her jaw dropped. Hey, pretty girl. We did that, and Iris are enjoying the sunshine outside. Thor, we playing catch with Andre. We playing catch with Andre. Yep, Andre's got the gun ball. Thor, Thor, you gonna catch? Thor, you gonna catch? Catch! Hey, right here. Up, 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 up. Uh oh. I don't think that came down. Yeah, it's definitely probably stuck up there. I can't see, but I'll oh, check yeah. the video. <laughs> Whoops. Today is the day of Caitlin and Angelo's wedding, and Iris is sleeping in today of all days. I have to wake her up pretty soon here. But they're getting married kind of early. They're getting married at 10 a.m. And um, every all the festivities and stuff will be over by the afternoon. So John and I got up and we're getting ready and we're about to head out the door soon. So we just got downtown LA. Caitlin and Angelo are getting married at the Los Angeles Athletic Club. And when they told me that I made a joke, I'm like, of course, Caitlin and Angelo are getting married at the gym. <laughs> They're like both super fit, but it's actually, it's supposed to be like really, really nice. They have an awesome ballroom and that sort of thing. Are you ready to watch your wedding? You're wearing a dress too. Yeah, wedding. I guess we parked like two blocks away. I'm gonna have to walk it in heels. Oh great, I hardly ever wear heels. 
What? It must be an undercover because I didn't see it. I'm sure it has parking. It's a hotel. But, oh well. It's a hotel, too? Maybe a little exercising today. Two blocks of walking. Power walking. Back. I don't need exercise in high heels. Oh, yes, you do. Except that class that we took was exercising in high heels. Except you need the exercise, you just yoga. Yeah. So I probably won't be vlogging the actual wedding. I'm not sure, because it's, you know, like kind of a personal thing. But maybe I'll like stand in a corner and film the reception afterwards. Oh, here it is right here. That didn't seem like two blocks at all. That wasn't bad, was it? No. See, the sign says parking that way, but I don't know which way that way. Mm. Ready, Iris! Yay! I guess I can vlog the room real quick since we're early and the wedding hasn't started yet. This is where Caitlin and Angela will be getting married. It's a pretty swanky place. Chandelier. John's checking things out over there. And he just left the baby in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Iris, did daddy just leave you here? <laughs> what do you think? Very nice. Yeah. Oh my That's god, look how pretty Caitlin looks. Oh my god, you are like breathtakingly gorgeous. Aww. You, you look so Thank good. You. And that bouquet is That's beautiful crazy, too. Right? Yeah, That's I've nice. never seen anything like that. I got it done <laughs> you look so pretty. Oh, can, you, can I show the belt? Oh yeah. Look at this belt around here. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, you look so good. Yeah, of course. So the service was really, really beautiful. Everyone was crying. <laughs> Hi! Here's little Miss Bella. I'd really like to have a speaker at my... I'm not sure if he was a priest or not, or a minister maybe. I'd like to have someone like that. He did such a good job. So awesome. Amazing. He did. He was witty and he was Yes, exactly. It was amazing. funny. It was a funny service. And, and people were crying as well. Very, very, very nicely done. Enjoyed that a lot. Right now, the bride and groom are taking pictures with family and stuff. It's the reception. They're passing around hors d'oeuvres, which are delicious. The food is so good. John is mingling. Iris is... Yeah, there she goes. She went down for her nap. Bella. <laughs> I knew we were pushing it with her nap. She was getting so tired, but she, Iris did really, really well. She didn't cry at all during the service. Now she's just sleeping. Food just got here. Mmm, that looks good, huh? It's very You've been chowing through that. Mm -hmm. It's like a teriyaki cream glaze. Oh, I don't know what else it is. It's good. It's teriyaki and then it has some kind of white sauce on it, too. Hey, baby girl. Hi, you. Hello, little baby. It's so good to see you. Do not go to the chopper. Trying to figure out where the chopper is. Get in <laughs> so we're on our way home now. Uh, Caitlin and Angelo ended up asking us to film a couple things for them. They wanted us to film the speeches and stuff, so we'll be sending over some videos to we want, them. We offered to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, well they. Ask us, we're like, hey, we'll film these for you and send them to you so you have them forever. But they were saying kind of that they wish though. someone was taking a video during the wedding. Yeah, we wish we would have filmed the wedding so we could send it to them. Uh huh. I didn't film because I was thinking, like, oh, I better not vlog this because, you know, it's so, like, intimate and, like, personal. But then they ended up saying that they wish someone was filming, and I was like, oh, I didn't even think I could have filmed it just for you guys and sent it to you. I was but, thinking that we can, like, live stream our wedding. Mm -hmm. have like four cameras that people could like click through to different cameras to change angles to see what everyone's doing. That'd be fun. Yeah. Our wedding, you hear that guys? It's not gonna it's happen, it's gonna happen soon. You're looking at at least Within like next two years. 600 vlogs until then. We're gonna get married in a year or two. It's gonna happen you guys. Almost home. I can almost take off my high heels and put on some pajamas, get out of this tight dress, but stopping at the grocery store, 
quickly. Uh, John needs some charcoal and then I'm going to buy some curry because I am planning on pranking my dad. But I just have to figure out the right time to do it. So I'm gonna be pranking my dad with some fake baby poop but I'm gonna say it in this vlog because the prank will probably come out before this vlog anyway. The prank will be done. I was gonna get curry, but I actually think this peanut sauce looks more like baby poop than curry does. So I think it's like a little more of an oily consistency, TMI. We just got home, let the little doggy walkies outside, but look at Roger's roses. They're just starting to bloom and they're absolutely Look at that, so, so nice. And there's so many of them. This is a really nice one too. Nice big roses, all different colors. And look how nice this one is. And it's just a wonderful plant. I got one, two, three, four more that haven't bloomed yet. But it's just these big luscious roses. And Roger really loved his roses. Um, I think I just stepped in something squishy. But it's just, I don't know, it's so nice to just still have the roses and see them every day and watch them grow and just know that he really, really loved them and appreciated them and we're just keeping them up real nice. So, but wow. What a rose garden. It must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, there's like 25, there's like almost three dozen roses over there. <laughs> We're winding down our night. We're gonna have a little dinner here. We've got corn, grilled baked potatoes, uh, some grilled teriyaki chicken here. Really delicious, actually a fairly simply, simple meal. Um, that was the first time I've actually grilled baked potatoes. I was gonna make a little video about it, but I wanted to see how they came out. Um, but you throw them on the grill, you you wrap them into, you, well first you wash them, you poke holes in them, you throw some, uh, olive oil, you kind of rub them up, and then you wrap them once in blah, 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 aluminum foil, and you wrap them again in aluminum foil. You put them on the grill for 30 minutes, flip them over for another 30 minutes, an hour total. And they actually came out really, really soft, so I'm excited to try them. Nikki's dad said they're delicious. He's the one that actually recommended that we try them, and he wanted the teriyaki chicken tonight, but I think it's gonna be very good, so I'm looking forward to this meal. Well guys, it's been a long day, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. My dad and I are actually in the middle of watching a movie in the other room. My dad is leaving, not tomorrow, but the next day. So I decided to take the day off from editing tonight so that I could spend some extra time with him since I was gone at a wedding. We were gone at a wedding most of the day. So yeah, I am going to end this vlog, so please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.